We'll call this the tale of two atoms. I've got a couple of children here that are misbehaving, and um, I've done all I can with them. They just will not perform. So I'm going to take these two bad boys up to Chip Hunter, who is going to help me uh, diagnose the issues that I'm having with fuel delivery. Back in um, in July of last year, um, I obtained two of the uh, Adam 80 uh, systems. Um, on the power to fly frames, uh, which are absolutely awesome, by the way. Um, and I, one went to my customer and one of the students, and, and I kept one for myself because I was so impressed with the performance um, of, of the Atom in trial. And you can see from the YouTube channel, there's a video out there of the product demo of the Atom 80. It's, it's phenomenal. It's, a, it's, it's an awesome performer, very um, smooth rolling on the power noticeable, probably 15% more noticeable power than my top 80 does. And it's just a great performing system. I love it. So the challenge is uh, engine uh, performance issues uh, in, the, uh, in the fall and then ultimately as it got cooler and more humidity uh, into, into the equation, our engines were dying. In fact, Ben and I each have had multiple engine outs on our Adam 80s, where the engines just quit. Uh, you say, hey guys, hi, we're here with... Rick. And Chip. Okay, so we have these lined up here. So Chip, what are we doing here? Today, we're gonna be changing the jetting on these uh, carburetors for wintertime use. The uh, carburetors are running a little lean and causing issues in the cold weather, so. So when you go to full power, that you run lean and it basically bogs down because you're running out of gas in the crankcase. Ben and myself, we've had multiple engine outs. Yep. I've been I, dumped in a, in a field twice and so has Ben. Yeah. So I think he had to Uber out. Um, so this is the fix from the Razi. It is. Okay. It comes with a new um, high port jetting and also needle and um, lever. Sweet. So we're gonna, um, we're gonna do some surgery on these carbs and get them going. Uh, this is pretty easy on the Atom 80. On this back plate here we have the spring that uh, allows you to prime the carburetor. You gotta be careful with this, that you don't push too hard. This actually pushes on that lever um, for the carburetor and if you can bend that lever on there, you can kind of mess up your, your um, fuel flow. Um, so you be careful when you prime these, do not push that too hard. And yeah, you wanna prime it, just, just push enough you, that you okay. uh, allow it to open and allow fuel to flow, but you don't wanna go Crank it. You don't necessarily feel it stop. Um, just I know feel it open. On some of them, um, if you tend to bend that, it'll mess up your roll. Okay, okay, go for it. All right, so we took the four screws out. We remove the plate. Okay. And we remove this gasket. Very seal. carefully, yeah. Yeah, this is a diaphragm okay. that we're pushing on. Mm -hmm. All right. We push on this. It's going to push on the lever right here. Okay. All right. Allow that needle to rise to prime the. the um, carburetor. Okay. What we're going to do is remove this screw right here to remove the um, lever and the spring. The spring is going to shoot out. You try to retain that if you can as well. Don't lose a needle that's clipped in there. Okay. You, you release this, this uh, screw and put your finger on it. I can see it wanting to jump. Yeah. Yep. Put your finger on there. It is a one-man job. Okay. Um, it's fine better if you have two hands, but we're, we're going to release this. Okay. Comes out. It, the spring. Perfect. All right. I'm going to put these down for now. Okay. Also in here, we have this port right here. Mm -hmm. And we're going to remove this. Hopefully she comes out easily. That's all it is. It's okay. The size of the hole is going to so be a little, hopefully a little bit bigger. A lot more fuel in the car. It's going to be really hard to see any difference there. Yeah. Chip's going to show us the difference between the old jet. Okay. He has that in his so right hand. The old hand. jet. It still says 116 on here. Mm -hmm. and it's going to pass through on this on this uh, drill bit here, metric drill bit. It get, kind of gets caught towards the top here. But gotcha. So this is the old one. We're going to put the same thing. It still says the same number on there, 116. One over sixteen, but that it's, thing passes. It's yeah, nice freely. and loose on there. It has a little slop. So you see how much more opening this has. Lots more top end fuel. Uh, full power is not going to die out okay. when it's cold. Weather's cold. So um, we're going to put this in here. Allow a little bit more fuel 
You might see a little bit incre more increased fuel burn, possibly, but you're gonna have power when it gets cold out. That's right. pretty straightforward. Yep. We have to reuse the needle and reuse the uh, shaft that goes through the lever. Okay. All right. The jet goes there. Okay. The, and the, needle. the needle is going to slide in here. All right. Like that. That's the secret spot. It is. So now we're going to try to get this in here. The little. Uh, circle on this lever. Yes. So it didn't go inside that. It's going to go on that. Okay. That there's spring. a little indent that matches, yeah, right? No. I probably should have put the needle on here first. We'll see if we can get it this way. Okay. Does that just kind of click into place? It does. Yeah. There it is. Like that. I'm going to hold Beautiful. it down. Put that little screw back in there. So. Are you closing the patient up? Yep, let's so finish this up. That was incredibly easy. Now um, we gotta make sure the spring is seated on there properly. Mm -hmm. We make sure that okay. the, uh, the little tip of that, need that uh, needle goes in yep. that fork. Perfect. And we can put this back on. If there is, some carburetors also have a little um, button on here that's gonna slide in on this lever. This one doesn't have a little button on there slide in so we don't have to worry about that when we put this back together. Quick question. Measure the distance of that before we cover it. Yeah, very good. What we're gonna do is get our tool. Okay, I know we have. Hey guys, before we go into this next segment, I wanted to let you know we use the incorrect measuring tool. Um, Chip does a great job of explaining how it works, but we should have been using uh, the WG8.75. Uh, so the exercise is correct, but the tool is incorrect. We'll add a link to the video so you can get this and you'll be good to go. Okay. All right, our Walboro measuring tool here, um, we have different settings for different carburetors. If you mm -hmm. look here, we want the WG. So this is the prong we're gonna use here to measure that. Perfect. We're gonna hold it up here on the edge of the carb and we're gonna see if it catches that. Here it just catches it. See how much that springs yes. out? Yes, yes. When you slide it down, it's going to catch that. You want that just to touch, but not spring back. So what we're going to do is bend this back down. We're going to use our fingers okay. and hold this needle down and just press in on it just slightly. So I don't know if that was enough, but I'd rather do not enough than too much. Okay. It touched better, but it still catches. So do it. Try it again. You can try to hold down this way. So just the light tension on that, right? There we go. See this here? Okay. See how I'm running, or running across? Mm -hmm. It doesn't. It pops up just slightly. It go in just a hair more. It should just not quite catch, but touch. Hopefully this is the last time. There we go. Dang, dude, that's perfect. It's right on. Yeah. What we do is we're gonna move this around a little bit. Make sure it hasn't moved or popped up. There you go. It's too far in. It's almost a little far in now, um, where it naturally sits. Looks pretty good. I just bend up just here. Let's see if it does anything. That's perfect. Open heart surgery on the Walboro carburetor. We'll find out here. I'll bet you on first pull, he's going to come right to life. So we'll uh, we'll come back into that. Delco. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Thumbs up? What do you think, guys? Yeah, I did.